you guys please talk about teen girls and the trim healthy plan using your optimized proteins your essential amino acids with teens great loaded question yeah i want to take that serene over to me yep okay that's Never amazing seen you lost the words that's great <laughs> i took a few seconds to kind of buffer pearl's voice and then mine we yeah we're back <laughs> I'm like, you be you. <laughs> okay, okay. But we don't really know how people like us. <laughs> the quick food is not ordinarily the protein food. Some young teen girls have the um, the genetics that it, they already start to struggle with weight. You know, you can do the S and the E and the crossovers, but you can juggle them more. Um, if you're not in that situation, I reckon you just do crossovers as a teen. What would you say, Pearl, over to you? I would agree. Um, and I think the main thing is, you know, teen girls using your, your plan. It's all about, like Serene said, anchoring with protein, which is nothing new. This is The Party with Serene and Pearl. Get it right, P-O-D-D-Y. What's up, party people? It's the Trim Healthy Podcast, and we're back. It's Tuesday at midnight for some of you who get it right when it drops. There's, those people are out there, you know, because I go on YouTube, and there's already several views, and it's not from the crew. Do you go on, like, every time the party drops early just to see, like, what com comments are about Dan there? No, it'll be that I'm just up at midnight on oh. YouTube, and then that will come up. And I'm like, oh, us. Uh, you should go and listen to... Um, a podcast we did, a very informative podcast we did, where I talked about sleep hygiene. It would benefit sleep you. Sleep hygiene? Yeah, oh. when I talked about how to, you know, catch little foxes of stress. One of them is to, you know, go to bed early. Sleep is critical. Yeah. You know... Um, that goes over right over his head. It was the last party where we committed Korea suicide. Oh, nice. Last week. Yeah, that was tragic. I'm upset about it still. Hey, um, <clears throat> you know, sleep, I found, what as I'm trying to work out more now, that when you go to like you won't see gains but then you'll go to sleep yeah. and you'll wake up and that morning in the mirror who knows who knows the morning in the mirror i'm starting with the morning in the mirror it's so epic do you have this experience way. no well for i, I do. only know when i put on clothes like i've been doing strength training for the last two years now and I started, you know, at goal weight, but I was more of, you know, skinny fat. Even though I'd done exercise, you know, my hormones had dropped, so your body comp changes. Can't do anything about that. Yeah. Apart from if you do something about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I did strength training, you know, two years now. But now, like, these pants that I put on, um, they're tighter. But it's not a in flab. A good, in a good way. In a good way. Because that muscle's filling out. The I'm muscle feeling that filling in my them. jeans. Mm, that's right. My son's got me doing these squats where... You put one leg up on a thing. Have you seen it? Look, it's oh, like your yeah, Bulgarian split squats. No, no. Yeah, Bulgarian split that's squats. What, that's the Bulgarian yeah. split squat. Yeah, yeah, he's got me doing those, and I can feel my my yeah. jeans. That'll get your glutes too if you lean forward. Man, there's it's it's so positive. I don't see I don't see how I waited so long to like commit just a little bit more. Like I'm not yeah. even like gym bro. I'm just no. saying, just a little bit of effort is so rewarding. Do you know when people start? It's all it takes sometimes is just to start and it, it does get addictive. It, it hooks yeah. you. It hooks because you. Because my husband was not the exercise type and he just started, wet his feet with it a little bit and now his favorite thing to do when he has spare time is to like research yeah. compound movements yeah. and you know like how, I'm, how I can like kind of shake things up a bit and get my muscles to not adapt and he's all about it. Look he's, at these wrists. Look at them. They're, <laughs> they're extra medium. There's an extra 16th on there. <laughs> I feel it. It's so good. Hey, we got this uh, message into our support desk. And I wanted to take this one because... It's kind. Yeah, no, it's a kind. It's great. It's from a teen girl. Oh. Uh, we got a few more questions. So if we can get past this, we'll take some more questions. But she says, can you guys please talk about teen girls and the Trim Healthy Plan? Also, could you talk... So there's many questions in here. Also, could you talk about teen girls using your Tribe Healthy workouts or other workouts? And lastly, I would love to hear about you, you using your optimized proteins, your essential amino acids with teens. You guys don't talk about teens and you plan a lot, so I would love to hear about that. Thank you for all you do. You could add some practical tips for teen girls because I think that age can really struggle with body image and weight issues. Thank mm, you. That's and she called herself anonymous. So oh, great. 
loaded question. Yeah, questions, I know. Yeah. But, I mean, we could take each one. The first one was, could you talk about teen girls using um, and the Trim Healthy Plan? Yeah. Do you want to take that, Serene? Over to me. Yep. Okay. Um, it's kind of just... That's <laughs> amazing. I've seen you lost for words. That's great. That's a powerful response. I, I took a few seconds to kind of buffer Pearl's voice and then mine. Okay. <laughs> Put some air in between there and my brain doesn't work <laughs> quite that way. Yeah. So I lost all my impetus. Serene, just be I'm you. Just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm falling We're still flat. reeling from last week. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> I'm like, you be you. <laughs> okay, okay. But we don't really know how people like us. <laughs> so now that I'm way confused. or this way. Okay. So, um, Back to the question. Yes, it's such a natural, we, we may not talk about it that much, but it's such a natural part of our personal experience with the Trim Healthy Plan because we both, you know, your, your teen girl's almost out of teens, but you had teen girls and I still have teen girls in my home. And so they're very much rocking the plan and very much aware of the plan. They don't just eat good, healthy food. They, they really like try to put the aces in the holes when it comes to to their meals and their protein they're really getting nerdy about their protein um the teenage girls in my home are really anchoring every meal around protein so well i would say that's a brilliant place to start for teens where's your protein at every snack at every meal that's what you ask yourself right where is your protein um because it's so easy i think for teens to just the quick food is not ordinarily the protein food right um and so i'd it depends on whether you have um, genetics that, you know, make it, you're actually already struggling a little bit once that estrogen and once that hormonal bloom starts happening. Some women have the, gen some young teen girls have the, um, the genetics that it, they already start to struggle with weight at, at young age. So if you are um, that way genetically, then, you know, you can do the S and the E and the crossovers, but you can juggle them more. Um, but, um, if you're not in that situation, I reckon you just do crossovers as a teen. What would you say, Pearl, over to you? I would agree. <laughs> um, and I think the main thing is, you know, teen girls using your, your plan. It's all about, like Serene said, anchoring with protein, which is nothing new. We've always said anchor with protein, right? Yeah. <laughs> Although no, no, everybody thinks it's new. But the other thing would be stabilize that blood sugar. Well, protein does that. Yeah. yeah. But that stable. And Serene said, you know, as a teen... So much of the food consumed when you're a teenager is quick food, right? But I think learning to, you know how they slow fashion and fast fashion, a lot of people are returning to slow fashion. I know my daughters are more about slow fashion. Just got back from Zara the Did other day myself. Yeah. Plain slow and, fashion. And, and fast fashion is kind of when you buy a whole bunch of stuff and they're kind of synthetics and you're just going to use them once. And H&M. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, but slow fashion is when. This is the term. Yeah, yeah, my H daughter's really into it. Yeah, H&M is not where you get a great deal on amazing expensive clothes. It's fast fashion. It's fast fashion. It will, the, the threads as you wash the clothing <laughs> one time, you will like pull a thread. Yeah. Didn't you do some ads for H&M? No. <laughs> But so you knew this term, slow fashion. Yeah, and fast fashion. Wow. Yeah, fast I mean, fashion. Yeah. No, you, you're not on the internet, so you wouldn't okay. know. But my, my daughter is big into Which slow daughter? fashion, meadow. Oh, yeah. And Autumn's more into it now, too. H&M yeah. is proud of their fast fashion. Yeah, it's just That's, different. They're marketing fast fashion. But all I'm just doing the analogy, it can be the same way with food. There's a return yeah. to slow food. And even some teenagers are realizing what happens with fast food, right? They see the results in their friends and in their culture. And they're like, hey... Actually, our forefathers had it right. So, you know, anonymous, you, you're kind of like writing into us today. I think you're getting it mm -hmm. that the fast food is like the fast fashion. It kind of doesn't work for our future because you're left with things that are just throwaways. And so this, the, you don't have to be in the kitchen all day because no teen should have to do that. We should talk a little bit about how our teen girls eat. Yeah, but there are, but there are things you... You're going to have to do some quick prep in the kitchen. And I think that's a great thing to instill when you're younger. Mm -hmm. Just learning how to make a quick meal. What's like a super easy go-to meal for teens? Go, Serene. Okay, so first of all, I'd like to kind of talk about how um, my teen girls eat. Um, because that will just, it'll bring up some, some really fast, easy um, foods that are kind of slow in what, how they metabolize in the body. But they're quick. 
the fast the fast and slow fashion yeah um but you know i do a lot of more of the purest the kefirs and all of that but my my teen daughters they love the greek yogurt yeah. it's quick and it's easy and they swirl in our optimized whey proteins because it makes the the flavor and the color pop in, inside like especially the strawberry and you've got like these pink nice swirls and they they put in like um they decorate it like it's art Okay, so they have the base of this Greek yogurt with the whey protein swirl. And then there'll be like little toasted slivered almonds on this side, like a stripe. And then a stripe of frozen blueberries. And then maybe a stripe of some fresh cut up fruit. And then like a, a little um, toggle of maybe like almond butter or, or peanut butter kind of just ribboned over the top and it's just glorious it looks so so beautiful almost too pretty to eat but that is their fast slow food because casein in the form of greek yogurt it metabolizes so slowly it it satiates the body and actually feeds the muscles very slowly it's actually the one kind of protein that you can actually last longer for for muscle synthesis you can get a couple of triggers and you're even it. more so in cottage cheese right yeah but greek yogurt too but you know your daughter breeze yeah. she comes up to my house and is always telling me about her yogurt bowls she oh, yeah. loves her yogurt bowls and i think you're right serene that is fast but slow metabolizing the body keeps the blood sugar stable and you can bring your carbs into it by putting fruit on top or you can put your fats or both. Or both. And so yeah. it is so Sometimes she leans easy. it really out because sometimes yeah. she's like, I would say, at perfect goal weight where she's not needing to mm-hmm. overly do a bunch yeah. of fats. You know how some are just like twigs mm-hmm. and they just kind of need to – she's just right there in the middle. Mm-hmm. She doesn't need to gain. She doesn't need to lose. So she does both. She's perfect. Yeah. So she, um, sometimes she leans it out and she'll just do the E and she won't put the almond butter all mm-hmm. over it and the toasted almonds. She'll just more put the berries and everything. Mm-hmm. And other times she'll just really cross it over and party mm-hmm. up and it's fun another one of her quick meals is salads ripping up those washed remains rip 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 and she's got her favorite little um um canned salmon it's a wild salmon but it comes in a little pot it's like 25 grams of protein perfect um but i like the pouches of the tuna the safe catch better but she she's got her little favorite and it's so simple rip 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 of the lettuce she puts her protein in there she actually puts it with a little bit of greek yogurt and, and hot sauce the the, the wild fish and makes it really kind of creamy like but her own little a, dressing yeah it's a light creamy yeah nice. and then she does the the toasted like the slivered almonds and the balsamic and she doesn't even use I don't even think. Oh, she. Do you know what she does? She cracks up Ravita crackers for the mm. croutons. So you're keeping like accoutrements in the fridge, like blueberries and sliced yeah. walnut. So yeah. is is that and proteins part- in the fridge? Like Serene said, little can of wild salmon. I don't think most teens are going to do that. She's an Allison teen, right? But but Kira. little cans of of chicken. Fabulous. You know what? You can heat them up too with seasonings like Creole seasoning. This is a great thing for teens. Just get an, a non-stick healthy fry pan right get a a can of chicken because a lot of teens they don't like the salmon or whatever heat it up with creole nutritional yeast whatever your your family has shove it over your salad you can put avocado you can put nuts you can put the olive oil or the balsamic it you never go wrong in your life if you start to establish that love for a full salad a hearty salad as a meal Mm. it will sustain you for the rest of your life and and you won't be derailed because it's always there. Its arms are always there. And if you find that love for it, do it in the way that you love. Like you've talked about it here, Danny. You, at one point in your life, a salad for dinner? What the heck? But now you talk about it with love and the things you do. Oh, yeah. And I think it's really important to consciously teach our children how to make food. Yeah. That sounds like a, for many mamas, like a no-brainer. Maybe they that's so old school but for me that's very new to because I'll have you know I have a skinny teen son who's working out trying to get bigger who will starve and then ask me for a credit card to head to uh, uh, Taco Bell right and he's just like crashing and hungry and everything and I was at first it was frustrating and then I was like but I haven't really shown him an alternative Mm -hmm. I'm always at work counting on you know just him to absorb it and get it but he's not going to so last night um, it was super simple. And for him, you know, I think this is on his plan, but it was pasta and meat sauce, yeah. you know, but I just but showed him like, whole foods. Yeah. yeah, I was like two pots, sauce in one, boil noodles in the mm-hmm. other, um, ground beef on the back. I actually took in, in red sauce, you know, mm. you can take, um, 
three quarters, half even a scoop of the amino acids. Oh, really? Even though it has a citrus vibe, you throw that in with all the all the sauce, and it totally disappears. Huh? That oh, sauce will but mask. But that would work. Yes, because, because the yeah. citrus and the and the acid acid of the tomato. Yeah, it yeah. blends. Yeah, it blends. So he had this like. But you do it once it was already cooked, right? Once it's kind of like almost to plate. I just threw the I threw that white powder as. I put the sauce in and white powder right on top and like cooked it in it. Oh, wow. You know, mm. you can, you can, it's actually heat, it sustains through heat. Mm. But you know, that's interesting, um, Danny, that you said, you know, you're talking about making sure he has protein. Where's your meat? That's your meat sauce. And sure, he, he's skinny. He needs some carbs. Where's your pasta, Craig? Okay? Yeah. So, but I mean, I'm, I'm thinking of easy things and learning to not make recipes necessary from a cookbook, but throw together things that are a meal in your teen years like base yeah the base, base like eggs is so simple unless there's an allergy like yeah. my daughter autumn you know she i mean she's like you serene she's a purist she makes her own bread and stuff but that's extra toast is such a wonderful thing for teens and then what you put on it so if you want to do e a cup of egg whites with nutritional yeast and then underneath like you know just a smear of avocado or or light laughing cow cheese or whatever you want but you could do, if you need a crossover, two eggs plus egg whites, get all that protein in. Toast or so if you're good. a person who can even take more and you're already doing like tribe healthy or some other yeah. form of resistance training, then you can do the three eggs. Of or course, the four. of the like, four. You know, you know it, d- it depends upon where you're at. And I think teens knowing what, side of, what sort of body type they are and how their body needs to fuel, but not under fueling. I think many teens, and like Anonymous is saying, really struggle with body image and weight issues. But I'd like to say something about that. I think part of the reason is, is because of the fast food culture that everyone's eating it, right? So when they do, many teens balloon up and then it causes, it causes, you know, almost a reluctance to eat because food seems like the enemy. Yes. But when good food is embraced and you, and you feed your body with good food and you don't underfeed yourself but mm. you fully feed yourself with this protein and these veg and these simple simple easy to put together foods the body dysmorphia can go away yeah so funny instead of interrupting you i'm like <laughs> you have like a little auction card with a number <laughs> it's like slow we'll like give 35 i, I want just before we we head to that Area, I just want to go back to some of those fast, slow foods. Sure. I really like to call them fast, slow foods mm. because they are slow burning in the body, but they're so fast. And like you said, your daughter is a purist and she makes her own bread. People can learn to make really healthy artisan bread at home. Sure. And it's a great time in your life to make yeah. it. And you might get busier later on and just ditch it for a while, but you've got that skill uh-huh. so that when you, you know, have a, a season in your life where you feel like, hey, I could pick that up again, you know how to make good bread because it's cheapest that way and it's wonderful. But... There are some great sprouted breads out there. There's some great on the Amazon pearl, the rye sourdough that you mm-hmm. like, but also the Rivita crackers mm-hmm. are a great go-to, which my teenage girls love or to. Or Wasser crackers. That's, yeah, yeah, the Wasser. I think yeah. it's the Wasser that I'm talking yeah. about. But um, they love to do, uh, they can do tuna on it or they can do avocado on it. They could do the nut butters on it. Um, there's so many things you can do and they are just a really good slow burning carb. But I love pots of brown rice and pots of mm. quinoa mm-hmm. cooked up because you can fry up I'm not talking fry with oil, but like just spray the bottom with mm-hmm. a nonstick, you know, nonstick pot there, the little coconut oil spray. So you're just lightly making it not, you know, so it's just not going to get stuck there. But you can just fry up eggs or, or any kind of tilapia or whatever mm. and add to the quinoa or to the brown rice. And then also beans. We do a lot of lentils or beans. So you have yeah. this bulk food that they can spice up and be creative with, but it's whole food. It's food you can eat largely of, food that satiates, food that's just filled with fiber. Um, and then you're going to take it away here in a second and I want you to roll with it. But in that direction where you were going, um, I feel like it's, it is true. It's that those carbohydrate fast foods that don't have a slow side to them, right? That and the sedentary lifestyle, the, a lot of sitting and screening mm-hmm. with those high sugary foods and the high sugary drinks, mm. the juice, the pop, the, you know, that's what's causing these diabetic situations Mm. in our youth in the teen years and it's no wonder i'm not saying sitting here saying that that is responsible for eating disorders and anorexia because you can be on a perfect diet and still have that you know um but i do think it leads to it 
because oftentimes it leads to early weight gain mm. in in um, tween years. No, I'm telling nine. Ten. Yes, and then when that when the you know the girl goes through puberty or when she's going through her teenage years and becomes self aware, body aware, that doesn't really happen until you're like 13, 14, 15. You start to become body aware and just look at yourself and see yourself fully. When they start to see, you know, padding there that they don't think should be there, you know, these eating disorders come and it's brutal. But much of it, and I'm not saying all of it, hear me, but much of it is because of the food that was eaten to contribute to that. Yeah, and a lot of these girls just don't know the difference. Like, I think some parents, <clears throat> I think most parents in our country are are just not as probably conscious as they need to be about instructing mm -hmm. specifically their daughters. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of social habits too. I know for us, every middle school kid after the basketball game, it descends upon Sonic. You know, mm -hmm. that's where all their friends are. Yeah. You know, sure, they could go home and start cooking in the kitchen with right. their mom, but they're probably going to want to go to Sonic, yeah, they probably and, are. you know, and not be like friendless in their childhood. So it's true. I think teen girls have it harder, I would say, than even us as parents. And and so let's talk about those realities, Danny, because they are realities. I mean, teen girls are going to go to they're parties right. and they're going to have pizza there and they're going to go to Sonic and their friends are going to be doing that. I mean, what do they eat? I mean, you have to live in this world. Can there be a, a, a new kind of cool? Like they don't have to go home and ham it up with their mom, even though I think that can be cool. <laughs> um, but they can they can maybe go to where maybe um, at times when the mom's not in the kitchen yeah. because it's not a normal hour and like start baking together in a... In, in like a you know a, a a trendy way, not like all with aprons and you know like aprons are so trendy. Oh, okay, sorry, yeah. I don't realize this this these if fashion changes. <laughs> in fact, I came dressed special for our last potty to yeah. be to specially um you know um Demure a little bit demured. And apparently, I was being trendy. You were. I was being <laughs> without yeah. knowing it. Oh, yes, it's like back. <laughs> yeah, it's back. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, my teen girls get together with your teen girls and our other sisters' teen girls, and they love to be creative in the kitchen. It's all around health food though. It's all around the kind of protein smoothies and lattes that they can make and drinks and superfood things and baking that is trimming. Um, but it's not with me and it's very cool. But you That's see, they the solution, have each other. I think. That, yeah. that like the moms have to, I think if a mom could find at least one other mom who's uh, like, let's say your daughter has a friend who mm. loves to come over, you know mm. this friend. Like, Try to f see if her mom would be down to get together and everybody like do that trendy apron Pinterest night together or, you know, mm -hmm. schedule actually things that where they can see that making healthy food is could actually be way more fun than Sonic. Yeah. Because the alternative is like we get too busy and it's just going to be easy to like quickly drop them off at Sonic. Yeah. I mean, that's what like I'm trim healthy podcast host Danny V and it's hard. I like. I the take reality my kids to of, Sonic. Of, yeah, <laughs> I know harder for you than us. And I'm sorry, Pearl, Pearl would you like to? Well, I was going to say <laughs> yeah. many things, but they've all gone out of my head. Oh, I was going to say, you know, my daughter Autumn is writing her book pertaining to this subject. And she's still a teen, you know, she's 19. But she she's really talking to you anonymous in her book and bringing back slow food for teens and That's healing great. food. And I think it is going to be a wave of a return. I think teens seeing this i think anonymous you are a leader in your own right because you're reaching out you are very proactive i can tell oh yeah the fact I mean, that she even wrote the fact that she listens to the potty yeah. she's pre proactive she's leading her body she's honoring her body but you see i think i think you're going to be electric and people mm -hmm. will be drawn to that and i think it's coming i think there's a wave where the teens will be turning back yeah and it's so easy for what i was going to say before is so, and i agree with you pearl but it's so easy for us to sit here and say well yeah but we don't live next to a sonic no and we never have when we raised our teenage yeah. girls so it feels like a whole different world but most people listening they probably live near a sonic and so and they probably don't have a community right. who's all doing the cool fun thing which is healthy yeah i mean like every day in my kitchen there's a group of teen girls all hamming it up doing their own yeah. creative stuff it's got that, nothing see to do that's with heaven it. yeah to i think 99 percent of listeners that right. would be this crazy dream come true if they could be 
have their daughters in something, you know. But I think it's so important because oftentimes what we put our body through in those teen years is becomes almost a, the set point, the remembrance that our body likes to go back to. You know, if we put it through this sonic pop, um, let's just be able to eat anything we want because I just want to hang with my friends, cool club. Oftentimes we can really push our metabolism through the ringer where we maybe get married and then start to have our babies and our bodies aren't as forgiving then and they can kind of like, we can kind of, Maybe injure some fat cells early on. Yeah, or inflammatory cells. All the sugar does things to hormones. Yeah. And PCOS is a prevalent now and it's gaining I've in our society. PCOS is one in 10 women have it right now, young women. And it's becoming more prevalent. And yes, there are genetic components to it, but a big part of it is the sugar lifestyle. I've known some girls raised really healthy, mm-hmm. raised healthy, 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 till they went to like college age, yeah. went off and did the pizza partying, blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah. And they've never gone, come back. Their bodies have left, they left the train station mm-hmm. and they did, I mean, there's always hope, yeah, but course. they did enough damage that it's, it's going to be way harder to get back. And um, so I love Anonymous yeah, anonymous. because she's doing the right thing, preemptive. I know, it's so preemptive and I love it. But another thing that I want to talk about then is, you know, I look at my daughter Autumn, but she's kind of like you in personality, Serene. She doesn't care what anyone else is doing. Like if she's going out to an event, she will be taking her kefir smoothie. Like that's <laughs> so weird, okay? A 19-year-old girl, take, she's like Serene, she takes it wherever she goes. But she knows that it will be there for her. Kefir doesn't go off. It's easy. She puts berries in it and, you know, her protein powder. And, and if it's in the dead of summer, yeah. you just put it in a little cooler pack. But it's going to be there. It's going to provide you that protein. Okay, so most girls aren't going to make kefir, but you can. I'm not saying you can't ever go to Sonic, right? Because but you don't have sometimes to eat you can. You don't have to eat your kefir at Sonic. You no. eat it in the car before you get there. So you can just ham it up with the jokes. Or if you go to Sonic and you are starving, there is a way to do it. Great. Is there a way yeah, to do it? Yeah, there is a way to do What's it. What's the way to do you it? You would have like a couple of cheeseburgers and you're not having the buns and at least you're filling yourself with protein. You're removing about, the buns. Yeah, and then there might be a side salad. I don't know, know what Sonic has, but if you, you can do it, you could actually go there and have the jolly fries and the cheeseburger on occasion. But I'm saying if you're going there often and you're hanging there are ways to find out how to do it. Well, I'll yeah. have you know that fried food contributes two days of inflammation yeah more than a cigarette oh i believe it yeah uh, but then uh, so then anonymous is asking practical tips for teen girls i think we did that um we did the body image thing. tribe healthy we need to talk about that yes yeah, so she said um oh what about teen girls using your tribe healthy workouts and other workouts we're actually bringing some teen girl workouts to tribe healthy soon yes with our teenagers are going to do them right <laughs> i'm yeah. sitting there serene's son he's trying to get them they're all so cute they either go to serene's home gym or my home gym a whole bunch of them here on the hilltop i want to tour this out. home gym oh yeah. yeah let's do a vlog there are about three or four home gyms on this hilltop that are rocking we should do a home gym tour but even if you don't have a like a fully set home gym anonymous just a few weights you know to get your lean muscle tissue going now and sustaining that for the rest Wait. of your life will be so incredible for you and yeah so you could follow along with mine or serene's or take us to the gym or just find free workouts on youtube that do some strength carolyn gervin all yeah. Kinds of, yeah i mean walk away the pounds <laughs> Leslie Richard, Sansone Richard Simmons <laughs> Throw it back to Rich But you've been hearing a lot of us talking Perimenopausal, postmenopausal, resistance training You know, now's the time to contend for your muscles <sighs> Really Get it when you're young yeah. Get yourself all toned and get that lean muscle tissue That allows you to eat more That, that allows your You have so much more forgiveness and grace through mm-hmm. your meals a Grace for the Sonic you can have occasionally Because I don't think you're going to be the one that has it all the time I Doesn't really sense sound that. like she no. is <laughs> um, But um, gain it when you're young and just then relax and keep it instead of having to do the uphill battle when you're older. Oh, you know what would be great? I would love to hear from y'all. Not now, but if you could make this and put it out in the world. Like a three minute, a one to three minute hard hitting point after point for teen girls of how to set your foundations in your body up for life. I'm mm-hmm. talking like a YouTube short. Mm. Yeah, that's can, great. Can you have but, that to me by Monday? But I would Monday? say the three things we've just said now. I would say protein. But they haven't listened. We're 28 minutes in. I would say get the, rid of most of the sugar. And then I would say... 
Where's your, where's your Le- greens to yeah. learn to Lemon. love a big salad? Yeah. And, and if you don't love a big salad now because you think of it as iceberg lettuce and a little piece wedges of tomato and some yucky croutons with ranch. No, you've got to throw the fresh blueberries in it. And the, you've got to put some of the hot protein that you've spiced mm. up on a little skillet real quick and shove it in the center. And not, I'm not, not talking about this bottled ranch that tasted a little stale. Yeah. I mean, succulent, healthy oils that are just delicious. Mm. Yeah. Into the I greens. don't know one girl that, you know, has like come to my house, stayed with us and didn't go away yeah. not loving a big salad. Yeah. That's, that's what thing. we do they at just, night. They gotta, they and, gotta and, get and it. And it's the creativity and every young woman loves to be creative yes. with, with beauty on a plate, yes. with colors on a plate. Get to take a picture of it. Yeah, and, and then you get your succulents. special bowl, your special salad bowl. And then you can also get into the art of chopsticks. I proclaim Learning teen chopsticks night. with su- yeah. salad. Hey, it's so there should fun. be at least a monthly teen night yeah. in everyone, every community. And everyone creates their own succulent, amazing salad. And and there's something about seeing it beautifully visually and then partaking of it. It's It provides you with all you need, right? Because it's going to have that protein. It's going to have your greens, which if you learn to love greens when you're young, I mean, that's going to set you up for the rest of your life with, without, you know, you're going to have less inflammation. You are going to have a leaner body. You are going to be fighting more diseases. My teenage girls have at least one huge salad every day. Yeah, So and, and yeah. so does so do, How so does amazing autumn. do you feel after a salad? I mean, yeah, when I first amazing. started... Uh, weaning from sugar. I remember leaves tasted uh, like alien food. <laughs> I was like, who are the aliens that this was made for? And, uh, but as your taste buds heal, a salad just becomes dessert. Mm, like yeah. if you, like on my salads, maybe this isn't right for everybody, but I have this waffle thing that I do. This direction is a pencil line drizzle of <laughs> Ranch dressing, mm. pencil line, and then an even thinner pencil line drizzle the opposite direction of honey. Yeah, That waffled combo to me, it's not enough to be like, it's not pouring dumping ranch right. on your salad. It's literally like a spritz of flavor. It's a little signature Ugh. towards it's the something dancing. you love. But I do yeah. want to talk to you about your salads, Dan, because they are a way that you can actually get more calories in for what you're doing, which is gains. Really? More gains. Oh, yeah, yeah, because you got that tiny bit of ranch, which is you're probably only giving yourself 30 calories, and then a tiny bit of honey, like 20 calories, whereas you could be starting to put... Do you put some olive oil in there too or something? No, like I, avocado I, in there to I get some more fat. Raw it. walnuts. Yeah. And then throw in brown rice. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. then you could rice. get more really good complex carbs yes. in there for in you. The salad. And, you can, and with fat. So, know, so avocado. I, yeah. Am I interrupting? No. Um, do you know what a beautiful thing to do too is one of my favorites? It's just... You know how a dressing can be slightly sour, whether you have the, a lemon or it or something, yeah. but that you get the sweet and sour celebration when you make um, little sweet potato roasted rounds. Mm. You know, ch- chop them up like medallions, and then like lightly spray coconut oil, and then the sea salt, nutrition yeast, black pepper, cajun, whatever okay. you want, and roast them up in yes. the oven. And then you can just have them in the fridge for a week. You roast up yeah. trays. Yeah. Like I fill my oven. So that's the carb in the salad. And then I just heat it up slightly and throw the warm, hot, spicy medallions. And then that's that sweet with the, with the lemon or sour. Mm. And then, oh. That's good. We need so a list delicious. of carbs to throw into a salad. Quinoa's good too. But Black beans. Yeah. Taking away from salad then, and maybe we don't want to do a salad, but a quick lunch. And then Autumn does this occasionally. Actually a lot. She's always like, when I'm at the grocery store, she's like, mom, buy a bag of sweet potatoes. So she'll just roast the sweet potatoes up and have them in the fridge. And they are your base for your meal. So sometimes they're small. You'll need two anonymous. If they're small, you know those 100 calorie ones? They're not really big enough. But you've got a medium good size one. That's your kind of boat, right? And so then where's your protein? So you might have leftover chicken or chicken breast or you might do tuna or whatever. And then you've got all your toppings. So, I mean, balsamic vinegar is so good nut butter is so good oh, hot yeah. sauce is so good yeah. and then a whole bunch of like cucumber on the side or some salad stuffed you just stuff it and you keep stuffing it yeah. and or you can do cottage cheese greek yogurt on the side whatever you want for your protein but i mean sweet potatoes or even regular potatoes just such a good easy boat for a meal you're gonna f- you're gonna be it's fast food but it's slow digestively and you're going to be done in five minutes and i want to say too for a fast food that maybe you wouldn't agree with me pearl but 
we we don't want to sound anorexic with this, but no, if we you don't. no, we don't because we want proper fueling, we want proper macronutrient eating. But if you are the type that just loves to eat, loves to hand and mouth, maybe you're homeschooling still. Mm. You know, maybe you're around the kitchen a lot, which is my children. Um, they, their homeschooling table is the kitchen table. Yeah. You know, the the f- double fridges are right there. Um, they have gotten into, they want me to buy the big bunny rabbit organic carrots, the yeah. big bags, and then the fresh celery, not the hearts that are old and a bit leathery, but like the fresh organic celery and cucumbers. And they snack on these raw, yummy, crispy veggies. They just oh, snack because on Oh, because I know them. what you're saying. Because yes, homeschooling children especially, because there's no designated snack times and they're always close by the fridge, snack can be constant yep. from morning to night and yep. there's no stopping. So what you're saying, if it's not a desi- snack, designated snack time, if it's not a meal, like breakfast, lunch, afternoon snack, yeah. dinner, then if you're going to want to chew, those things are excellent. Like Autumn's always got a Peter Rabbit carrot in her mouth. Yeah, yes. And I notice Ikara, you know, yeah. our sister's daughter who comes to work for you, on her way, and yeah. she'll have lunch later, but on her way because she, she cleans your house pre-lunch, mm. she's always, I always see her holding a big cucumber. That's just, and it's yeah. a way of getting a lot of great plant food in. It is true, yeah. Yeah, and it's so crispy, crunchy, snacky. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It kind of kicks that. I find a carrot will curb my snacking it, it can yeah, it can curb the really craziness like if yeah. you're especially before a meal energy and hydration too and i know a lot of teens they'll grab a pop yeah. and walk out the door to their errands well i know a lot of the teens around here they grab a veggie grab mm-hmm. a cucumber or grab a carrot mm. and they'll go walking well, that's through. easy too especially when that's what you just stock yeah i mean that's yeah. one of our battles we had to just overcome it's like we're not we can't stock junk and then expect no, our teenagers can't. to be disciplined about the junk that's in the fridge. They're going to get the junk every Even time. Even me. Sometimes when my husband brings... I mean, oh, you would never yeah. would. My husband brings home potato chips on occasion. I think yeah. he buys them for the grandchildren. Yeah, they're going down. Or whatever. The grandchildren are coming over <laughs> here to my house and suddenly there's potato chips. And I'm like, they call to me. They okay? I walk past them like, oh, yeah. look at you. Look at you, beautiful I things. like the way you said my name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I mean, it, it, if it's there, you know, and obviously... Not all of you live in homes where that's not going to be there. So, you, you know, you have to work around it sometimes. But if it doesn't have to be there, don't bring it in. Yeah? Another thing for quick food for teenagers are smoothies. Oh, yeah. If you're a skinny teen and, and you're trying to help your bloom, do yeah. the whole milk. Or if, yeah. you're a, if you're a teen who's just working, you're really into exercise as a hobby, you can do the whole milk. But you got to have a Vitamix. Keep it to a cup. You know, keep it to a cup per do time. You, know? you have to. Why? You I, have to have a Vitamix because, don't. nope, if you don't have a Vitamix, you're going to fight with your blender and then you're never going to do it. It's going to be a bad mm. experience for the teen and they're going to mark it forever. I cannot do smoothies. I promise you. Well, th- see, if they're just adding like whey and a couple of things that go easy, they can just use But what if a teen, beach. what if the p- teen's a hand parents... I blender for myself. But what if a teen's parents are not like into buying special ingredients like whey? I use a, a $15 hand blender and I do no. like... I'm talking about whey. What if Anonymous here, her parents are like, I don't think so because she's asking about our essential amino acids, but some some teens might be listening here and their parents are not. Teens buy jeans that are trendy and things and they they buy special things for their phones. What if their parents are not into buying special ingredients like whey protein? My daughter buys her own stuff. Our new chocolate whey protein, have you had it? Does your daughter buy her own stuff? My daughter has a part-time job and she buys her own stuff. She She buys buys her her own own stuff all the time. Yeah, Depends on the age, yeah, they can get their own. I I mean, if they're, we don't, do we know how old she is? No, she's I mean, she's old enough. She's probably 16. Because, and if you, but uh, to finish off my point, if you do have weight issues, unsweetened almond milk is a lovely base for protein smoothies, but they're just a, a, a great, you know, like mid afternoon snacks. And you, and, and I'd say do these protein foods before you get hangry. And blood sugar out of control where you won't make the wise choice. Mm. Or Whey secret. is so good on the, on the, um, just the satiety. Mm-hmm. You secret know? hack too, though. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm ragingly passionate about the amino acids mm. because you can throw like on, on your package, it says one scant tablespoon, mm. right? Equals how many grams of protein? Well, it's bioequivalent to, but remember, we've talked about this, Danny, but let me hear what you're going to say. But I always 90. have to repeat because yeah. I don't, I, I only learn when I watch a podcast yeah, back okay. when I'm talking on it. All right. Absorb. Okay. Okay. So, um, what was that comment last week that somebody said? It's, it's, no, they said it's, it's not surprising 
that Danny has sat here for six years and still doesn't know the think plan. That, I, think <laughs> the, so I think the complaint was about us. It was. But we can't oh. bring <laughs> a, it's not about you. <laughs> you can't bring a clear point. And that's why poor Dan no still wonder. doesn't know the plan after six it's years. Yeah. Dude, you would think those people were like paid professional roasters. Like some of those were so good. Like the one about me trying to be funny. Like yeah. he thinks he's being funny or whatever. And I was just like, I do think I'm being funny. <laughs> like it was so, like a good roast just is accurate. Just to know, just so you it's know, good. people, when the cameras aren't rolling, Danny's even funnier. Yeah. He tones it down for you here. Yeah. So I take the, so a scant tablespoon, meaning almost a tablespoon. Yeah. Um, so I'll take a quarter to a half okay. of a tablespoon. Yeah. Because we're talking 90 grams of protein. Okay, but I don't you, need 90 grams of protein. Are you still saying you're putting it in your oatmeal, No, Danny? no, no, no. Okay. What I'm saying is... Because you can use the full in your oatmeal because we call it complete, even though it's 90. Let me say this yeah. one more time. Even though it does what 90 grams of protein from meat can do for your body, you actually will use all of it, right? And so you don't, if, it, if it's tweaking your brain, you're like, I don't need 90, I don't need yeah, 90, just it, call it complete, which is 25 to 30. Just call it complete. And so use do it a full all. scoop every time? The only reason... Oh, but if you have other protein in your meal, you don't. Just do half. Protein is so important. But if you don't have protein in your meal, do a full. Pro protein is super, super important. The problem with protein is... In regular food, you can't really use more than 25 grams at one sitting. Okay. Otherwise, yeah, because it might go then start being burned as a fuel, even though it's a long way around to be burned as fuel, and even though it, it raises thermogenesis more than other food macronutrients, blah, 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 blah. But still, there is kind of a cutoff with food for, for it being utilized as, you as, get older. As, as a builder in your body for all the scaffolding. That's you know. not true for younger people, by no, the way. No, exactly. But I'm talking to Danny here. Okay. Well, here's the thing. So, But yes, with but. the essential, though, you're going to use all of it. It gets ushered and pushed into your cells. So there's no real cutoff. So you want as much as it will give you. Okay, but tell us. So even at like half to a quarter, if I just drink that, like That's good, the though. stability, like yeah. I know it, like, you know how I sense everything? Yeah. Sip of wine. I'm like, yeah. yeah. Like You're just the, a feeler. I'm a feeler. The stability I feel mm. on even half a scoop, I feel heavier, which is weird. Um, I feel more grounded. I think more ground, almost a high, almost like I've been starved of protein my whole life. Mm. And I'm just like pumped with it all of a sudden yeah. and everything. Um, I, I feel this could all be placebo, but I feel like I'm holding water. Like I'm thicker. I feel like it's just, all the is things this placebo? Don't want to feel. <laughs> all the things women don't want, but I'm saying, is this placebo or? Well, I don't hold water on it and I don't feel heavier. I feel lighter, but I do feel more grounded. Mm. And if I'm Maybe like hangry, it. hangry, hangry, and I'm like, no, I'm not going to make a good decision. And I'm going to scarf bread instead of make my salad with protein. If I give myself a little half scoop mm -hmm. because, uh, because I'm going to have protein in my meal, I will all of a sudden become a very grounded individual that makes smart choices yes very grounded and i get really focused on work i i'm steady and they say that amino acids are given to people as a natural adhd medication mm -hmm. which i can say as an adult it absolutely works it like cured i'm in in fact i would not take it if i w needed to be like on you know if i needed to negotiate if i like it sort of kind of dulls my personality even because I'm so stable. Like I'll just be quiet. I don't need to entertain. I'm not so hyper. Do you know what I will say then is if you're having it like it's meal time and you don't have enough protein in your meal, then take a full scoop. But if you're just taking it and you feel these Danny feelings and you knowing what it does to your brain, you don't need to take a full no, for that, because, because you're not you're really just, taking it for protein as much as you're, you're taking, taking it for, for a nice medication. <laughs> yeah, brain it's stability. It's almost <laughs> like, a, like a little mild high. There's like a sedative effect with it for me. Hmm. This well, could that totally could be, be the, placebo. That could be placebo. the glycine too, yeah. because there's a lot of beneficial brain effects from glycine for calming the GABA pathway. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that's what you need. Yeah, we're GABA pathway. I actually brought glycine alone to just hit up some glycine before bed. It helps me sleep. I take a teaspoon at night of glycine alone. Yeah, that's an Yeah, the amino acids are extremely soothing. I could take soothing. my essential. That would be so much better. Yeah, but my children soothing. eat my essential all up, and whenever I go to get it, it's gone. Yeah, well, that's what I was saying. Can, can teens take yes. essential? You bet. And you so bet. can children, yeah. actually. You don't want to replace, Anonymous, all of your meals with just powders. 
Um, because you want your whole foods because they have nutrients, they have vitamins. I keep looking in the camera, minerals, you know, I keep thinking I'm looking at anonymous, but, um, so you want those things from foods, you know, that the things that chicken or tuna provide, the things that beans provide and lentils and, and your other proteins like that. However, essential amino acids are like that gravy. They're like that special thing that are so good. And especially many teens don't get enough protein. Yes. And yes. many children don't. So they can yeah. be that foundation that kind of fills in the gaps. I think it stabilizes teen mood as well. Yeah. Oh, because yes. they're so often not getting that that foundational mm -hmm. protein. Yeah. I think these mood swings of teens that, you know, sometimes I'm just like, man, my my child is being quite unreasonable. <laughs> like, and like beyond just the fact that their brain is immature, yeah. there's this extra layer. And then I'm like, when did they go to bed? What did they eat? Yeah. Oh, they didn't go to bed and they ate nothing. Right. Yeah. You know, and then it's just, so life hack. I'll take the aminos and I found, you're going to hate it. You're what gonna you hate it. To our you put it in juice. You're gonna hate it. <laughs> I'll put it in apple juice. Yeah, I hate it. Because, <laughs> because like look, I just hate it. Look, we never have apple juice unless like somebody's sick, and then it's just like yeah. we're trying to hydrate them. So we'll we'll cut. But it. if we'll, they're low blood sugar, Serena could help. We'll yeah. cut they the apple eaten juice. And then well, if they're diabetic, low blood yeah. sugar. So I but sneak. It's not gonna help. I sneak the aminos. I bought these individual jar, individual yeah. little shots of apple juice. Yeah. And then I pop a quarter tablespoon of aminos in there and shake so it up. So this is a small amount of apple juice. It's a very small like, amount. Like how much? Like The the bottle's literally this big. Oh, it's those tiny thin bottles. Yeah, yeah so it's good. a cup. Yeah, and, and but I'll I'll put the protein in it. But it's better it. to put the aminos in it than just drink the juice, right. Serene. No, I agree. <laughs> I wish there was a different way. You know what? If it were... Like what about a stevia? Like a, what about one of those... A stevia sweetened sparkling water. Oh, it's or, uh, so delicious when you just add. A, Haven, come and tell me what you do. Haven was here. This is Haven. <laughs> Her eyes got come. so big. Come here, Haven. You make your limeade, lemonade. We've never had Heavy on the potty before. Havey, come. Heavy, the but people you know, are waiting now. I would almost Please. want it flavorless. Come sit. Yeah, come because sit. yeah, because it's already got a well, sweet citrus. Haven, come. Oh, is it citrus by itself? Yeah, it's you didn't it's flavor it. Next to Auntie Poo. No, no, no. We've got a little flavor in there. A little I citrus. Haven, how old? I wonder. Haven, how old are you? Eleven. And and Haven, how do you She's take? She's not seven. Eleven, she said. Oh, eleven. How how do you take the essential? Tell how you make it with the lime, the limeade or the lemonade. Say. What should I do? I need to make it, Havy. How do I make it? Um, you put water. Water in a cup. Mm -hmm. Then what do I do? Uh, put a little bit of lemon. What do you mean by lemon? Lemon juice or lemon from a bottle or lemon what? Lemon juice. From a lemon, yeah. you squeeze it. Okay. She often puts lemon concentrate. Okay. Or lime concentrate. Now what do I do? I've got water and I've got some lemon or lime. Now what do I do? You put um lemon. Okay, <laughs> did that. Now what do I do? <laughs> you put some hydrate in it. Some of our trim healthy hydrate. Which one do you like? The cherry one. Cherry. Okay, so you put a whole cherry stick, rip it open, put the whole thing, or just half. Okay, the whole thing. And now what do I do? You put. Essential. How much essential do you put in? Mm, uh, half a scoop. Half a scoop. So one half teaspoons. And then how much? Is this sparkling water or regular water? Regular. Let regular water. And then you just mix it and it's delicious. Yeah. With ice. Yum. Gonna have to try that. There you go. <laughs> Good job, baby. <laughs> Good yeah, job, Yeah, I think baby. making a delicious protein. I, I wonder Talk if about the being forced by your mom. What about like keeping a gallon that you pre-make of like a amino acid protein drink Great hydrator teens. in yeah. the fridge? Yeah, but they so they good. gotta love it. That's the tough part. I I actually think putting you should the, try putting, the hydrates putting, with your daughter. But you know what I think though? Mm. Eh. Putting the essential fresh might keep the amino acid flavor from tasting eggy. You know. Um, Lucene and all of that. I Have you know. ever tried it in the fridge for a long time? Because I've heard some people do this and they've never oh. mentioned egg taste. Great. Brilliant. Egg, I've never but now you egg put egg taste. egg taste in their heads. I just Thanks. know that I took essential <sighs> on a walk and then I came back and in my hot car I opened the bottle and it smelled sulfury. Okay. So there we, that's a way to sell our product. That's really well, good. Hey. I can see like a stock is, line. It was an empty. <laughs> it was an empty <laughs> It was an empty bottle. I drank it. Hey, it this like, is it. This is how we sell our product. Smells like eggs. Smells like sulfur. Exclamation mark. From the from the creator of the product. Yeah. You know why Havy was here. Why? Because she was so excited. Oh, 
to come sweet, and see our special Ruin Our Career podcast. Oh, that one from last week. This week she wasn't going to miss it. And and you forced her onto here. Yeah. Hey, we're 50 minutes in, peoples. Uh, thank you for your question, Anonymous. I loved answering it. It was great. And you rock. We love you all. And I think that we were very polite. Oh, you're going to rate our um, potty after the career ruining potty, which is today's potty. I thought this was balanced. Yeah, I thought it was balanced. I don't think we talked over one another too much. So there is that. I mean, talking over one another and rabbit trailing, which is our natural selves. Then there's the other one we did last week and ruined our careers. And then there's this. this yeah, it was bad. I, I, I lost a little bit of impetus. I want you to know. Yeah, you had a, a few like brain blanks because yeah. you weren't butting in. But you, you my brain doesn't work when it's in order. I feel like the industry as a whole might be done with me. Like that's how nervous <laughs> I am about last week's. Like they might be like, oh. Hey, God's got you, Danny. God's got this. Yeah. You get kicked <laughs> off the podcast. We're gonna have you'll a- find another career. <laughs> <laughs>